Hey guys, Liza Hudson from Landing Page Guys here and welcome to another free landing page audit session. So guys, before I jump into the actual pages themselves, just a, current, a couple of things. If you're currently watching this in YouTube and you're not a member of our Facebook group, then after this video, um, head on over to Facebook and search landingpagelab.com. This is a totally free group to join, guys. In here, you'll find tips and tricks. And of course, this is where you'll need to be if you want to see your uh, page in one of these videos. You can also find the link to the lab in the description beneath this video, guys. And guys, for those of you who are already in the lab and you haven't subscribe to our YouTube channel, please make sure you head on over, search landing page guys, click subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell as well. So for those of you guys that haven't been here before, what's about to happen is um, I am going to go through six pages that I've chosen at random from links that guys have been dropping into the lab all week and I'm going to open them properly for the first time today. I'm then going to go through each of these pages and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys some very actionable feedback that you can take away, implement today and you will see an uplift in your conversion rate. We get some amazing results from this guys. Check out the results in the lab, check out the results on uh, Trustpilot. But honestly, if you just take away one thing from this today, then hopefully you guys will skyrocket your conversion rates as well. So uh, with me, as always, I have my two trusty tools, the first one being uh, tools.pingdom.com. This is a totally free speed test, guys. It's a good little one to just check out what's going on with your pages. And I also have with me builtwith.com. This is just going to show me what you guys are using to build your pages, whether that's WordPress or uh, sticky.io, Shopify, whatever it might be, this is going to tell me. So I'm just going to drop the first link in some sort of uh, marketing. And guys, again, for those of you that haven't been here before, we work to lots of conversion principles. And one of the main ones, and that's the one we'll use today, is going to be the ADA principle. Now, what that means typically is that above the fold, the point where we don't need to scroll any further, you're going to be capturing my attention. You're then going to be piquing your consumer's interest as we go through. You're going to create a serious sense of desire around your product or service. And of course, then you're going to give us that all important call to action. So that's the A, the I the D and the A guys. So for this first page, it looks like we have WordPress. WordPress is great. It's so user friendly. And in terms of speed, 3.25. Okay. So guys, ideally you want to be getting that to sub three seconds, if not sub two, especially on lead generation. Um, and you know, it's, it's really quick, easy wins. So think about compressing your images, any videos, um, you know, get rid of any unnecessary apps because for every second you decrease your load speed, you can increase your conversion rate by five to 10%. So crazy quick wins to be had on page speed guys. So let's look at the first page and off the get go, I can see a couple of things here where we could potentially uh, nudge the needle in the direction we want. So obviously this is some sort of uh, results driven local SEO marketing. Um, this is great. So your 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 content, your copy here, what I would say is that this is very much a statement about you know what this is is almost like a just a, a, a it's just a title it doesn't tell me anything here about you know why i should uh use you guys why i should book this uh strategy call with you so make sure that you are using a benefits driven statement what's the benefit to me using you over anyone else guys that's super critical in your uh, value propositions here the other thing I would do, guys, here is to pop out three or five bullet points, again, talking about those benefit benefits, you know, is it that you're going to save me money? Is it that you're going to, you know, increase my ranking? What is it that you are going to do for me over anybody else? Um, also, guys, I would get yourself some social proof here. So in the form of your star rating, first and foremost, and make sure when you pop your star rating there, guys, you just elongate it slightly. So you don't just put the number with the number of reviews you want to do. I don't know, uh, say 4.8 stars out of 360 happy clients. So pulling out on the emotive terms of your clients. And again, the other form of social proof you need here, guys, is going to be a testimonial above the fold. So grab yourself a genuine image to go with this and a nice testimonial here. And that's instantly going to be increasing your conversion rate above the fold. Your call to action, it does stand out. The color stands out from the crowd. So that's great to see. What I would say is keep your call to action absolutely consistent. So if these are both 
taking me to the same place. Make sure that the terminology is absolutely the same on there, guys. And also get yourselves an emoji on your call to action because it does increase, 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 increase your click through rate by up to 40%, which is crazy, but true. So for, for the for the hero section, I think that would be uh, plenty to be changing. What I would say, guys, obviously you're driving to a page within your site. Um, we would always recommend for all of these pages, guys, that you take them out and make them a direct response page. So what that means is that it sits on a subdomain. You drive your traffic to this page, and there's none of this, you know, none of these traffic leaks. There's no navigation around. The sole purpose of a direct response page is to get your lead or make your sale, guys. You can't beat them for conversion. So as we go down, you should be starting to pique my interest. What I think you guys need here is some form of trust before we start to scroll down. So I'm guessing you've got a lot of good companies you've worked with. What you want to do, guys, is have that here. Trust is a key conversion principle. Try and get that on this uh, just at the bottom of the hero section. So as I said, as we go down, you're starting to pique my interest. What have we got here? You've given me some case studies, which is nice. And you go into reviews. Cool. Okay, cool. So you've got some some really good content here. Um, in terms of case studies, I think that's absolutely great. What would be nice is before you have this uh, testimonial section, you need to shove this down further the page. You want to get yourself in here a process step. How do I actually work with you and how are you going to make my life easy? So let's do one is going to be that I'm going to book my call. Two is that we're going to get on this call and we're going to speak for 10, 20 minutes, whatever it might be. And then three is going to be that I'm going to benefit because, you know, you guys are looking after my SEO and life's going to be fantastic. So one, what the consumer is going to do two, what you will do and three, how they will benefit again. So I would definitely think about getting that in there. It's great that you've got this uh, desire. It just needs to be a little bit further down the page. Um, I'm glad to see you're keeping your call to action the same, guys. You want to keep doing that. Don't forget to get your emoji on there. Also, what you can do to back this up is to add in your star rating uh, beneath your calls to action. So it just instills that social proof as we go through the page. So you've got lots of content here. This is kind of cute. I like the way that you're bolding out uh, particular words. Uh, here we go. So this would serve you way better, guys, if you have this up just uh, at the bottom of your hero section rather than nearly halfway down your page. So you'll get higher conversion rate by having that much higher on the page. Then we have a bit about the company. It's quite a long page. More calls to action, which is great. Happy clients. More content. Great. Love this. See, I prefer this call to action in all honesty. I think that it's, it's more snappy. Um, it, it's, it's, it's just better. It's less wordy. So I think this is a great call to action. But again, guys, just make sure you keep it absolutely consistent and get those emojis on there. Then we go on to different parts of your services. OK, so what I would do, guys, is have your interest section. So all of your content, making sure that you're keeping it absolutely relevant to what you want this person to do. So ideally, what you want them to do is book the call on this page. So what you don't want to do is start sending them off to blogs and other parts of your site, because the goal of this page was, as far as I understand, to book a free strategy. So have all of your content guys then get in. This is a nice section. Then get in your desire section. So your uh, review section. And then we would typically go down to the bottom of the page. Yeah. So what we want, guys, is after all of your content, this is a nice little form fill. You then want to have your um, your desire section. So your review section. Then you want to go down into a frequently asked questions section. So I don't know if it's buried in the footer or wherever it might be. You want to have it on the page. So address people's queries and concerns straight away um, so that they don't have to search around. And then we give another big repeat call to action. So don't make people scroll back up the page in order to actually book this call. Um, so that's the first one. I hope you found a couple of helpful points in there. Let's go on to the next. What's this? Chrono care. Let's have a look at speed. OK. My mouse is not being too friendly today. I do apologize for the delay. OK, so let's have a look. We've got our oh, Shopify. Shopify is great. 
and especially with these new uh, new uh, updates that they've got coming out, it's quite exciting, guys. Might be a bit of a game changer there. Um, fantastic, really good speed for a Shopify. Um, uh, sort of product page. They can be quite heavy Shopify stores because you've got lots of kind of stuff going on with them, but that's a really great time, guys. So well done. Now let's look at the page itself. So clearly this is a sort of product page uh, for a hand massager. Okay, so I bet this looks better on mobile. Um, so basically, guys, again, sort of a couple of things you can do here. I personally would order this just because it looks a little bit lost in amongst all of this white space. So you might want to consider bordering your imagery here because even the edge of the product is getting lost in this white space. So just think about bordering that out. Great, you've got what it is. What's it gonna do for me? You know, get something into your title that's gonna tell me, you know, how great this kind of is. Um, the five star rating is fantastic or four and a half, whatever that might be, which is great. Again, same thing, just elongate you know that it's from all of your happy clients um great that you've got the pricing striked out you're showing me that i've got a deal and then you're giving me some little bullets here as well which is cool your call to action it does not stand out and also with these secure uh sort of trust icons underneath whilst they are good um, it, it looks part of the design, so it's not standing out for the right reasons. It looks like it's attached as opposed to this being a standalone, you know, add this to my cart now or get this product now. So I would uh, separate this off. I would make this slightly smaller and get yourself an emoji on there. And then underneath here, instead of these trust icons, what you want here are your payment icons, guys. So payment icons are instantly, instantly recognizable globally as trust seals. So you want to be getting those on here as well. It's great to see you've got this trust stuff here, which is fantastic. Um, and then you go down into some kind of imagery, typical product page. We see all of this kind of wasted real estate, but like I said, on mobile, I'm sure it looks great. If you can utilize this space, guys, it makes absolute sense to do so because we think that both both your home, uh, sorry, both your desktop and your mobile need to be optimized. So don't disregard one or the other. They both need to convert really well. So as we go down, you start to give me some of the content about this. Again, there's just too much white space, guys. It's um, it's not flowing too well in that sense. Then we go down into. Let me just have a look, actually. Okay, cool. So you've got content just in, uh, it would be good if you could switch this stuff around. So same as the lead generation page we just looked at, what you want to do is get yourself in a process step. Obviously, it's slightly different on a product. So we want to see a one, order your uh, hand massage. Number two, we're going to get it to you in however long. And number three, you're going to benefit from feeling mega relaxed and chilled out without paying all of these premium prices. So make sure you're getting that into the page as well. And guys, you need to repeat your call to action. So whether you're going to do add to cart, which we don't see converting so highly now. So kind of like get my now or grab my now, whatever it might be, something more emotional. Um, with your emoji and definitely with your payment icons and or your star rating underneath would be great there. Once you've done your content, I think you need a little bit more design here maybe, um, then you want to be going into your review sections. So this frequently asked questions section, which is amazing to see you've got this on this page, you want to switch and take it below this review section. What's great about your review section is that you've got some genuine images here. So that's really, really nice to see. You would then have a repeat call to action here, guys, because so far you've given me one at the top of the page and nothing as we go through. Then get your frequently asked questions section down here. And after that, you need to give us another repeat call to action. So again, you can go in with the imagery, with the nice bold headline, the benefits, and then of course that call to action to purchase the product itself. So cute page, um, a couple of little things you guys can do there to tweak that one. Let's go into the next one. This is another, this is a sales page. Um, guys, I will cheat, I will actually be uh, translating, it's just easier. And let's see what this one. My goodness, we're halfway through already. Right, so this one is. Okay, so this is a custom HTML page. It actually looks like one of our templates. I'm hoping the speed is really good because with HTML, you should have an awesome speed. 
okay, 2.31. This can be way quicker. So when you are using any HTML pages, you can get those to kind of almost sub one second. So guys, those are the best pages to get. Now here, it looks like you've got to compress some images and there's some things you could do kind of server side as well. But let's have a peek at the page itself. Where's it gone? So let's just translate. This does look similar to our uh, our templates, but either way, you've got some good stuff going on here, which is really, really nice to see. So the first thing that I'm loving is this trust. These trust icons are absolutely fantastic up here. Instantly, we all recognize these, so that's great. You've got a fantastic call to action, perfect little emoji, and again, trust seals, absolutely fantastic. So you've obviously got a testimonial above the fold, which I can see here. I'm not gonna go into the, uh, the wording that much because it never translates as well in English. Um, but what I think you need to do is re relocate this. So basically you want to pull down your call to action, give us a, exactly as it is here with these trustings, pull this down. Um, you want to bring your, your testimonial down as well. And in here instead, what you want to do is pop in those three to five benefits about the fun of this product. You know, how much fun your kid's going to have. It's going to keep them entertained for hours. So there are benefits, guys. Make sure that you're popping those above the fold. But love the uh, genuine image you've got here. And it's a great little testimonial as well. As we go down, you should be starting to pique my interest. You're giving me that kind of engaging content. Um, what I would say is the text to image ratio looks a little bit funky here. Maybe think about um, using some icons to go with the text just to push it down so you're not getting this kind of um, disjointed amount of space, especially as the call to action is quite jutted up against this uh, this image. So just watch your padding, guys. It just makes it look a little bit slicker if you can fill the space um, or keep your, you know, keep your uh, images further away from your call to action. But love your call to action. Fantastic. I love this star rating and the payment icons. You couldn't be doing that better. So that's fantastic. Then as we go down, you're still engaging my content. Uh, sorry, you're still piquing my interest. So you're giving me more about it. Bullet points are great, guys. They're a great way of getting across text without overwhelming the consumer. They're bite-sized reading bits. You don't want massive blocks of text on pages. You want these little bite-sized bits that we can all just kind of like skim through and read. So I like your use of bullet points. Then we go down into your review section, which is fantastic. Let's have a look at your images. Yeah, I mean, all the camera images look uh, look genuine, which is fantastic. Try and get some with the uh, with the children as well would be great. Um, but yeah, really nice to see that. I would probably get another call to action in after here, but I notice you've got one here. Um, you're giving us more about how it's working. So this is a four step process. This could be displayed, um, you know, more engagingly. So pull this down again, get it in line with your image and use some sort of nice icons to go with it. So, you know, it's as easy as one, two, four, uh, one to four and then just pull it out, but use some kind of icons next to it as well, just to make that section a little bit more engaging. But this is a gorgeous little image here, it's super cute. Then we go down, we've got recommended. This is cool because, um, you know, you're showing us the companies. Again, this would serve you better in terms of conversion by popping it up onto your hero section. So if we come back up, you know, instead of having this wide children love the camera here, you want to get those, uh, you know, where you've been featured by across the bottom of your hero here, which would be super cool. And as we go down, where did we get to here? This is nice. You've got a nice little charity pledge, which is always good and really, really nice to see. Um, and again, you know, you're keeping it all uh, together, go into some features. It's nice to see that you were going into the fun before you were going into the features. Guys, whenever you are promoting a product or a service, it's the benefits that are going to sell it over the features. Features are necessary, of course, but you still want to go with the benefits first. What we want to know is, why do I want this? Why is it so good? You know, what's it going to do for me? Because that's what consumers are about. Ultimately, it's what's it going to do for us? And why should we get it from you over anybody else? So if you're doing a product someone else is doing, you need to make sure that your benefits are standing out as opposed to just giving features. But this is nice that you've got this further down. So that's great. 
following the principles beautifully. We go down into frequently asked questions. Love that. Ah, and then we hit the bottom. So I would, guys, add yourself in the last call to action. Now, you don't have to do a reiteration of your hero section. What you can do is just have a repeat call to action, you know, so order here or buy mine now or whatever it was, um, and backed up with those ratings as well. But overall, a uh, some really nice stuff in there, very engaging stuff. It's more about the design and adding in some benefits on this one. So let's go to the next one. We have some sort of anti-aging serum. I know this has got a guy's picture, but I've actually just invested in some anti-aging serum myself. So let me have a little look. So guys, we don't do this uh, these sessions to sell. We, it's literally not our attention at all. But what we do ask guys is if you want to see more of this kind of content, then please let us know how you are doing. And guys, don't forget, you can go over to the landing page lab, ask to join. It's totally free. Um, and of course, if you're in the lab and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then do head on over and subscribe. So we have another Shopify page here. And we have 1.97. You guys are killing it in the speed department today. So this is great. Let's have a look at the page itself. <clears throat> okay. Thrive. Sorry, let me just read for a second. Ultra penetrating. Okay. So is this a, yeah, this is a product page. Okay, so again, same same sort of things as before. Um, it's going to be, you know, this is very, very heavily feature driven. Um, I would either, if you want to keep this page exactly the same, test it, do a second page. And in that second page, instead of having all of the features here, you know, switch this out and give us the benefits. Also, guys, I'd probably potentially reorder. I would have your headline above your text. Um, it just flows more, more sort of normally for the eye. It's easier to, to digest. Um, it's great that you've got these things, but you know what? It doesn't really mean that much to me. I just feel like you're not really selling me the product that much. You're just giving me a list of stuff. I think your imagery is fantastic. Your product image is absolutely spot on. I can see what I'm buying. Um, I just feel you need to pull out on those benefits that bit more. So you've got a star rating here, which is great. Like I said, just elongate that and, you know, say out of the 16, uh, um, you know, rejuvenized clients or, or customers, whatever it might be. And then you're giving us the option to uh, do the subscribe and save, I guess. One month, two months. Is this bundling? Oh, so you're giving us the option to do bundles. So you, you can display this um, in a slightly more visual way. You can have little blocks where you show people that it's, you know, you're getting this great deal as well. Um, and with your call to action, I would absolutely switch this up. Proceed to check out. It's a little bit drab. I would say get mine now uh, with the emoji or grab mine now or order now. Anything that's just get adding that imperative on there as well. You need to pop your uh, your trust icons here. So those payment seals would be absolutely great. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, sorry, you're missing a testimonial above the fold. Now, on a product page, people think, oh, do I need it? But it, guys, if you can get a testimonial above the fold, get one on there because all social proof is a key seller for your products. So I think the main thing with this is that you need to give us some of the benefits and less of the features on this product. Now, as we go down, you're asking me, telling me what makes it unique. So <clears throat> you start to tell me more. You know, and again, it, it's it's quite, uh, it's quite, um, features driven. So it improves the skin's resilience, you know, plumper, healthier, softer, which are all great. These are all buds words, but what's the benefit of me having firmer skin? I'm going to feel more confident, um, anti-aging, I'm, you know, or my makeup's going to go on better or, you know, just think of those, those, um, benefits. I'm going to save money in treatments. You know, this stuff saves you a huge amount of money. So make sure you're getting those on the page as well. Now, clearly this, uh, this is your bundling. So I, let me just see, go down into, I can. So I think, guys, what you would benefit from is to take your bundling further down your page. Sell me on the product more first before you start me start to ask me to invest in all of this kind of uh, money. So when you're when you're doing your bundles, just bring it down further so that you've got all of that great content first, and I'm I'm being led into the sale as opposed to 
this is what it is, this is how much we're going to charge you. Um, when it comes to your bundling section, what I would say, guys, is this does not stand out enough at all. So if this is the one that you're trying to draw people to, then what you want to do is make this one larger, you know, have something stronger that shows that it really is, um, you know, the most popular or most loved in your case. Then you want on this one, it's going to be, you know, best value. So make sure you're leading people visually by making it either larger and bordering it just a little bit more visual would be great here again guys you want to be popping on your star rating when you're on your bundling section and you want to add in your little trust payment icon to as well um, so there's a few things you can do on your bundling section as we go down, you're giving me lots of content about the features again. Guys, whenever you're doing uh, blocks of text like this, just make sure that you are bolding out the key words. So in this case, I would say, you know, reducing visible signs of aging is something that I'd want to see instantly. So just bold out those key words. Um, guys, you would also have repeat call to actions as we go through. I haven't seen any repeat call to actions. So make sure you're getting those in and packing them up with your, uh, your trust proof or social proof as we go through again more about the features and then we go down into this section so this is cute again i would reorder your page so you've got lots of good content here guys it's just a case of switching things up so um the how to use would be way better off higher up the page before all of those kind of features so get your how up there break it down into little steps for people then go into your content and then we can go into other things like calls to action and so forth. Fantastic that you've got a desire section on here, guys, and the images look great. It totally looks authentic. So that's absolutely fantastic to see. And then as we go down, obviously you've got related products because this is a product page, which is fine. Now, what we should be going into here, guys, is um, your, uh, your frequently asked questions section. So there's going to be questions about this serum. Um, you know, make sure that you're addressing those on the page. Typically with products, you want to think along the lines of, you know, fulfillment, refunds, that kind of stuff. Get your top five questions put them on the page and it's just going to save you in conversions because if people get to the bottom of the page chances are they might actually be looking for the answer to something so do make sure you get them nice and visible and then you would have your nice big repeat call to action as well so these trust icons here these payment icons these are the ones i was talking about what you want to do is pop those above the fold underneath all of your calls to action and that will absolutely help to increase your conversion rate so really really nice looking product actually and let's move on to a meat thermometer okay Guys, Built With is an awesome little tool. If you see somebody else's site um, and you think, oh my gosh, how did they do that? You can actually go to Built With and it's going to tell you, you know, not only what this is made well uh, made with, but also things like, you know, what apps are being used and all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to emulate somebody else's page, you absolutely can. You can see how these things are being done. So this is a Shopify page and we'll just let the speed load. So we've got 2.53 seconds which is not horrendous for a Shopify store, but guys, you could definitely get this down a bit more and it will absolutely increase your conversion rate. So again, it's saying you need to compress your images, but let's have a little look at the page itself. So what have we got? Smart meat thermometer, she's done this. Okay, so again, off the get-go, I can see a couple of things here, and it's always exciting when we can because, you know, I love it when you guys go away and come back and say to me, yes, we did this, and these are the results we got. So the first thing I would say is that your header is absolutely huge, guys. It does not need to be this big. This is taking up nearly, nearly a third of your page, um, so you need to take your header up because it's just wasting your real estate. Um, and also it's giving too much kind of white space between uh, between your text and then into your hero section. So you're telling me this is a smart meat thermometer. Again, guys, don't forget when you're doing these types of pages, what's the benefit of this smart meat thermometer? That's what you need to be telling me. So, you know, um, well, basically not getting sick from having cooked meat, I should imagine is the main benefit, but make sure that you're getting that across in your headline 
and in your text. So here I would again, you know, bullet point this out and just pull out on those uh, those key benefits rather than the features of it. But yeah, you just need to change that up a little bit. Your call to action, it's quite similar to color palette. I think, you know, you've got enough white for it to be standing out. I don't think you need the 40% off here. You can have some sort of um, symbol that's showing that somewhere else in like the form of a seal or something. What you want on there is your nice little emoji making people take that action it's great to see you've got these trust seals absolutely fantastic guys what you do need on this page um, on your hero section here is your star rating and of course that great review from a customer now guys if this is a brand new product and you're like drop shipping or you say you haven't got any reviews for this product yet then what you need to do is give this product to your family your friends to anyone and basically ask them what they think of it so there's no excuse not to have um, a testimonial on your page and more to the point it is ha it is harming your conversion rate by not actually uh, having those reviews on the page itself I don't know if you have them further down I'm just saying literally on your uh, hero and in general you need to make sure you are getting those nice and clear so as we go down you should be starting to pick my interest again same as before I think again you know a step process would be hugely beneficial pique my interest, tell me how easy it's going to be for me to shop with you. So I am going to, um, you know, purchase this product, you're going to get it to me, and I am going to have this super duper easy to use uh, meat thermometer that's going to make my life better. So do make sure you are getting those sections in there as well. Here you start to give me uh, some of the kind of, uh, some of the kind of benefits really here. So this is a nice little piece of content. Then you give us lots of imagery, which is great. Um, so it's kind of showing the features and everything as well. And then you repeat your course of action, which is great to see. Again, more content. You're still trying to pique my interest and repeating your course of action, which is fantastic. These are nice little sections. They are exactly the right proportions of uh, icon to text. So we're not going to get bored by this and it instantly shows us what's going on, which is great. Uh, we have more of your content here. Again, guys, you've got quite a lot of white space. I feel like, you know, you guys have clearly used all of the space from left to right here. So I would work on the, the amount of white space you had. So there's way too much over here. You know, the way this is centralized, it just looks a little bit strange. Maybe think about having that, you know, left aligned and then bullet pointing out some of this content. But great imagery that you are using as we go down. Again, same thing, you go into your frequently asked questions. It's amazing to see you have these. I'm super happy. Um, but you want to just, let me see, drop that. Yeah, you want to take that further down. So typically they go uh, just before the end of your page. So just before your last call to action. So if you can think about uh, reordering that part. You then give us your bundling option. So this, guys, on the previous page, I said your bundling didn't stand out. This is an example of where it does stand out, which is great. So as you can see, just a different color. Instantly, my eye is drawn to this center one. Now, um, what I would do, say is that you can absolutely still, guys, make more of an issue out of this. So you could potentially, um, you know, have a banner across here or a nice seal. And again, with this one, you know, just make it like, so you've got mega sale or sorry try that again Liza you've got your uh, best value most popular all that kind of good stuff so you're you're differentiating between where is the best deal and where you're trying to lead my eye um overall your bundles look good you just get your uh, your star rating in there as well guys then we go down into a how it works section. We have a video. Videos are great. Um, you might want to test having this higher on your page, just because if it's very explanatory and it kind of shows your product off, it can be one of those key conversion points. So you could test having that way higher on the page itself. More content again, repeating your call to action, which is great to see guys. And then we go down into your review section. Now, this is fantastic that you have this here, but look, it's literally at the bottom of your page. So this needs to be way higher up. Think of it almost as a, like a four scrolls almost, not literally, but your hero section is the benefits, what it's about, the imagery, pricing, all that kind of good stuff to grab my attention. Your next scrolls are your interests. So that's where you give me your engaging content, why this is so good, the imagery that goes with it, your features. 
The next stage should be your desire section. On your third scroll almost, you should be having your uh, your review section because social proof is the key selling point for all these products. I know I sound like a broken record, but honestly, guys, it's so, so key. So it's fantastic. You've got this. You just need to place this way higher on your page because it's quite a long page, this one, to be perfectly honest with you. Then have your frequently asked questions section and then go down into a last repeat call to action to actually uh, purchase this product. So it's a really nice product. I'd like to see how you kind of progress with this page as well, actually. So that would be great. And let's go on to, oh my goodness, the last page. What's this? Let's have a look. Hoodle, hoddle. So guys, as always, I know I've said it like before, but I'll say it again, if you're currently watching this in YouTube, guys, and you haven't become a member of our Facebook group, please head on over to uh, Facebook and search landingpagelab.com. It's totally free to join. In there, you'll find the tips, the tricks. This, uh, the Facebook group is where we actually post um, the posts for sessions like this. So I dropped one last week and we've had loads of sessions. Now, guys, if you didn't see your page here this week, well, I will be dropping some more videos as well. So don't panic and do watch out for those. This is a crazy good load speed for a Shopify page. Insanely good. So that's absolutely fantastic. Really good to see. Yeah, literally absolutely fantastic page speed you have going on there, guys. So well done to you. Now let's have a look at what this actually is. So all products. Ah, okay, so this looks like a kind of general store. Yeah, so we've got a, a sort of general store going on here. Um, let's have a little peek. So guys, we apply the ADA principles to um, all of the pages. So obviously on a direct response sales page, those standalone pages that I talked about, we apply it so heavily. It's very hard sales and you cannot beat them for conversion. Now on a product page, a product page can absolutely be optimized as we've kind of discussed as we've gone through today. And home pages, home pages have a very different purpose. So a home page, you know, it's, it's good for all your names all that kind of um, uh, organic, all that good stuff. It's like a brochure. However, it can still be optimized, guys. And ultimately, typically, the purpose is to drive people into the store itself to take action on those product pages. So with that in mind, there's still things you can be doing on your home pages to be optimizing. Um, the first thing I would say here, guys, is it's not overly clear to me um, that you are, you know, um, a general store as it were. So obviously we've got the hero, then I have some imagery here, you know, but your headline says become a grill master. And whilst this may seem a little bit pedantic, when I landed, I thought this was all going to be something about cooking. So just make sure that you are being quite clear in your messaging that this is a, you know, a general store or, you know, have um, have the, uh, the tiles that show the different things quite quickly, just because it's not overly clear and you're asking me to browse the collection, am I about to browse the collection just for the grill master or am I about to browse all your collections? It isn't overly clear to me what it is I'm doing here, guys. So you might want to just rethink that slightly. Um, again, you know, with a homepage, obviously you don't want a testimonial above the fold. You can, but you don't have to. Um, but you still need to be getting your star rating up here as well. I think your branding's really cute. Um, I do like your branding, which is great. But again, like I say, just get that star rating in there for sure. Now, as we go down, you're obviously giving me two different products. Um, and then we go into who you are and more collections. So a homepage still follows the principle, guys. You still need to capture my attention. You need to give me a strong call to action. So the color, it does stand out. I'm, I'm a little unsure as to where it's going to take me. Um, I'm not going to click it on this, but, you know, make sure it's very, very clear. It's, is it browse all collections or shop now, whatever it might be. And again, get yourself a nice little emoji in there as well. You then go on to try and sell me two products, but you haven't kind of told me anything about you. So again, I would think about relocating some of this stuff down to once you've given me some content about kind of what you are, who you are and what it is I'm actually kind of about to go into. 
Um, you need to have your desire section on here, guys. You still need to get a review section. In fact, it's absolutely imperative that you do that on your homepage. So get yourself a nice uh, review section in here. And then as well, again, it's a homepage, but you want to grab yourself a nice little FAQ section on the page itself. Just think of the top five that you guys get asked and get that onto your uh, your page. There's not a lot for me to audit here in all honesty. Um, there's not much content here. There's nothing telling me about you guys much apart from a paragraph. So I think you just need to work on getting your calls to action very clear and displaying it in a way that we understand that this is a, a general store. And if we are going straight in with it, with the pricing and selling and all the rest of it, you know, you need to get some trust icons in the form of your payment seal somewhere um, and definitely get yourself that, at the very least, get yourself a, uh, a review section on your homepage, guys. So sorry, not a huge amount to talk about there, but there's a couple of things you can do straight away. So FAQs, desire section, star rating above the fold, and just make that that hero a bit clearer that it's, it's you know, a multi kind of uh, purpose store. So guys, we've actually come to the end and I, like I said, I will be dropping some more um, over the next couple of weeks. Keep your eyes out in the lab because we will drop another post for you guys to drop your links and I hope you have a fab day.